This place sucks. Uh, yes, sir. Let's get set up. Hey, now that I finally have power and clean water, let's talk about how my move went. All right, so I moved into Texas on February 14th. I took a carry-on with me in the plane, but it didn't have too much in it because, you know, the rest of my stuff had been shipped down in a car, and then I shipped my PC with UPS. And that was it. That should have been the whole thing. I was all set. I'd get down there, I'd buy some essentials the night of, and then everything else I had would come to me tomorrow morning. It just so happens that the night I flew in, Texas decided to have its biggest snowstorm in decades. Welcome to Texas. It's fucking hailing. My first day. Love it. Enjoying it. When I landed, it was hailing. Uh, the state completely froze over. Uh, millions of people lost power. And the city issued a boil water notice, which I didn't even know was a thing because apparently uh, the, the filtration system didn't have enough power and there were brain eating amoebas in the Texas water supply. That's, that's not even a joke. So that night, I woke up in a completely empty, like, there's just, there's nothing here. I woke up in an empty house that was freezing cold, had no food in it. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. And I got a nice call from the trucker who was bringing my car down who said he wasn't going to do it. <laughs> you know, at some point he was going to do it, but it wasn't going to be now. And I get it. Because look, the, the state pretty much had no infrastructure to deal with something like this because of how infrequently it happens. Like there's no there's no snow plows, there's no salt trucks, there's no dirt trucks, whatever. They don't have anything, right? So whenever it snows, it just freezes over and uh, and you're left with like a, a layer of ice on the road that is just completely impossible to drive on. And as a New Yorker, that's pretty funny. Because you'd always hear stories about like southern states getting an inch of snow and then they just start dying. People just start dying somehow. And I got another call on the phone from UPS this time. Uh, and not only did they tell me that the, the, the PC that I need to do my job uh, was gonna be delayed, they actually didn't know where it was. Um, they, they lost it. They lost the PC. And honestly, I was more concerned about, you know, not freezing to death uh, in my shell of a house than I was about, you know, getting back on the Dream SMP real quick. So uh, I, I, you know, I started calling some hotels, seeing if they had power so I could uh, survive. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to Texas, baby. So I call up a Marriott by my house. You have power? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm coming over. I booked the hotel for two nights. I drive down there with my rental car. It's dark. It's hailing. There's, there are no street lamps in Texas because you'd need too many of them. And I get to the hotel and it's off. Pointing the camera at the building that I'm supposed to be staying at. Oh, what's that? No lights. No lights. Fuck. Oh. First full day in Texas, I'm having a great time. But luckily, I've came prepared. You see, I have a very, very uh, rich friend who also lives in Texas by the name of Miss Kiff, who, uh, who said, oh yeah, you know, come down, you know, we, we got warmth, we got food, you're good. So I, I went down there and I spent the night. Uh, one night turned into two nights, turned into three, turned into a, an entire fucking week at this dude's house. Everybody was fucked. Okay, the power grid had completely failed, nothing was open, and the serial killer who runs the state went to Cancun because he wanted to be a good dad. I remember we were driving down the road and we saw a McDonald's uh, that, that had a, a drive through line literally around the parking lot twice. And we were amazed because the fucking McDonald's was open, you know? I'd sucked, I'd, I'd fucking sucked Ronald off for a goddamn Big Mac. So we get on the line, it loops around the building, and we wait, and we wait, and we keep waiting, the line isn't moving, and then s fans, one of the guys we were staying with, gets out of the car and he walks up to the guy uh, who's waiting at the front of the drive-thru. And he's just, and you know, the, the guy's just like, just like sitting there, leaning out of his window, just waiting for, I, I don't know what he's doing. He's you're not saying anything. s fan walks up to the dude and he's like, hey dude, what's going on? And the, and the guy's just like, haven't answered in a while. S-Fan looks at, at, in the window of the McDonald's and all the fucking lights are off. The McDonald's is just, it's, it's fucking closed. The McDonald's is closed. This guy rolled up to a closed fucking McDonald's, sat there long enough, just doing nothing, waiting for the voice in the box to come on, waited there long enough for a line to form around the McDonald's multiple times. And not one fucking person 
decided to like look inside and not, not one person was like, oh, maybe it's fucking closed. And of course the guy's driving a fucking pickup truck. He's got a little cowboy hat on. Fuck you. This state sucks. Is this like, is this what I'm dealing with? Like, is this, the, is this the fucking clientele that I, that I live with now? Then I called up Marriott, uh, f you know, to get a refund for the two nights that I had booked, uh, where the hotel was, you know, off, um, and they looked me in the eyes and they said, no, <laughs> no, they said, no, they said, no, you, you stupid piece of fucking shit. We're not going to give you your money back. What? You were cold? What? Your house was off and it wasn't working. And we, and you called us and said, Hey, do you have power? And we said, yes. And I said, oh yeah, I'm going to book. I'm going to book a fucking hotel so I don't die. And then we're off. Oh, well, you know, we need the money. We need the fucking money. Pandemic's been hitting us hard, you know? We only made 10 billion fucking dollars last year. Look, man, I, I am not even worried about my money, right? Every other video I upload is, is a sponsored Raid Shadow Legends video. Like, it, guys, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm just fucking worried about the families who aren't in that situation, whose houses don't have power, who are running out of food with multiple mouths to feed, who don't have anywhere else to go, and they book a room with Marriott in a last-ditch attempt to stay safe during a once-in-a-lifetime snowstorm. And then Marriott loses power and doesn't give them their fucking money back. That is such a f that is such a spit in the face. I got an email from them that that basically said, "Oh yeah, we can't do shit because the hotel is denying your request." And the email ended with, "You can count on Marriott to improve your experience in the future." <laughs> Suck my dick. If anybody from Marriott is watching this, I made a handy dandy little fucking website that you can go to to fix the fucking problem. It'll put you right in contact with me. All you got to do is go to www.fuckyoumarriott Dot com. Anyways, that's about it. Um, we survived. The snow eventually melted. The power came back on. The good dad flew back with, uh, with a Texas mask on to show how much he cared. And life slowly returned back to normal. You know, I, I had to scramble to find some essentials, some, some stuff for the house, some stuff for the mouth. And uh, I'm settled in pretty nicely now. Uh, I, I, at this point, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to die. <laughs> but you never know. Because as a final kick in the nuts... Um, a bunch of people in the house I was staying at got COVID. Hey, welcome home, baby. Oh my God, this is fucking ridiculous. Once in like a, a goddamn millennium storm happens in Austin, Texas, we get inches of snow. The day I move in, the house lost power for the second fucking time today, and I'm gonna freeze my ass off unless I rent a hotel for a hundred fucking dollars tonight and sleep there.